Alright, shalom, shalom, shalom. It's the brother Zariah Allen, the brother Ayesh Gabar from the GMS Virginia camp. Back with another lesson through the spirit of Yah by Shem Yah Shai. I just come in to do so. Um, before we get started, like always, want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rechakodash, and double honors to our apostles and elders and bishops of Great Millstone who taught us truth and peace, love, and salutation to you, Akim, out there. That's been doing the work with truth and sincerity. All right, may the election be upon your house and the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yah Shai have mercy upon you in these last days. All right, um, the topic of this lesson is uh, worth work ethic. Uh, takes away fear, okay? Because the scripture says, "What man? What's supposed to?" Uh, matter of fact, you can grab it. Uh, work out your own salvation. I think you had that right. Can't I get it? Can't. Because that's all it's about, man. It's about doing the work. It's about having faith in Yah by Shem Yah Shai. And I, that quote that I got, okay, that's uh comes from Michael Jordan. The reason why he said that is because he was constantly in the gym. Okay, he wasn't worried about big games. He wasn't worried about you know the championships and so on and so forth because he put the work for into it, and he knew that his work was going to show, you know. And our works are going to be uh, tried through that fire. You know, you got it out. Mm -hmm. The book of Philippians chapter two and verse twelve. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, mm. not in my absent, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Mm -hmm. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Your own salvation with fear and trembling. So you got to work. You have to plow. Mm -hmm. Okay. The uh, the Lord likens this as unto uh, farmers, husbands. Okay. What what does a husband have? A husbandry. Okay. I mean, he's constantly sowing. He's constantly uh, plowing and, and tilling the land. You know, he's putting in the work. You know, and this is what we're doing. We're putting in the work for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And hey, our work is going to show. You know. But I just got this uh, precept, um, Second Edges chapter 16 and verse 70. It says, For there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, mm -hmm. and they shall be tried as gold is in the fire. Yeah, we're going to be tried. Okay, all the works that we're doing, hey, it's going to be tried, man. Okay, Esau is coming for us, man. He's coming down with great wrath. So, hey, we ain't got time to be fearing, man. The only thing that we need to fear is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Anything else outside of that, hey, man, we got to take it head on and just do the work. Because our work, hey, you put in the work, there's no, like like Michael Jordan said, you, you, you put in the work, there's no reason to be afraid of big gangs. You should be confident in your work ethic, man. So we confident in our work ethic, but we're also first and foremost confident in Yahweh Hashem Shai because He's given us a spirit to do the work. You know, you got it out. Like, if you got it, precept, book of Shai. the book of John, chapter ten and verse twenty-seven. My sheep hear my voice, mm. and I know them, and they follow me. Mm -hmm. And I gave unto them eternal life, mm. and they shall never perish. Mm. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. You know what I'm saying? Because we were given orders to do this work. We were commanded to do this work. You know what I'm saying? Because cause at the end of the day, you know, who are we to go against Yahweh by Shimei You know what I'm saying? Because he said, um, fear not him that can kill the body, but fear him that can kill the body and soul and help. You know, so we fear Yahweh by Shimei with a healthy fear. So... You know, like I was saying, I mean, we have to do this work. You Come. know, come hell or high water. Hell or high water. Come. We are very much aware of what we're into. And if you don't know what you're into, you you really need, you know, to sit back and analyze yourself. Come. And analyze what you've gotten yourself into. Come. I got a quick precept just to back you up. This is Luke chapter 2 and verse 49. I'll go straight to the point. Come. It says, and he said unto them, how is it that ye sought me? Because, you know, you had uh, Yahweh Shai's uh, parents, you know, looking for him, mm. you know, when he first started teaching. And he said, wish ye not that I must be about my father's business? You know, so, hey, this is what we're about. We're about our father's business. We're about mm. doing the work and putting, hey, we're plowing, man. 
You know, that's all it's about plowing. As long as you do the work, hey, man, and, and be sincere about it, man, that's that's what the whole point is this walk is for, man, to do the work, okay? You know, sometimes it's good to pray to the Lord, hey, Lord, keep me healthy and keep me in the right uh, state of mind just to do your work, man. You know, because every, everything that's extra outside of doing the Lord, Yahabashim Yashah's work, is either folly, okay, or shit that's in, indulging in the flesh, man. If it doesn't have to do with the Lord, hey, man, that shit is vain as hell, you know, but you got to have a balance, you know, mm -hmm. but you got it out. Yeah, kind, you know what I'm saying? You have to actually stay diligent in this truth, you know, you know, like it says in the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 19, in your patience, possess ye your souls, mm -hmm. you know, we ain't supposed to, you know, to take our hands off the plow mm -hmm. because we fear what the enemy may do, uh. you know, we ain't supposed to. Not be diligent in this truth. As a matter of fact, I got a precept in that. Come. Um, yeah, because we girding ourselves up and, and, and it's true, building ourselves up in, in the faith, man. So when these evil days do come, it's going to show that we did put the work in, that we weren't bullshitting and and, and being lousy and, and lazy and a, 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 um unprofitable servant, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, kind of. May I? Yeah, go ahead. I'll just lock in. The book of Second Peter, chapter 1 and... um. I'll start at verse. I'll start at verse five and read down to uh and read down to ten because it's very important, you know. The book of Second Peter chapter one and verse five. And besides this, giving all diligence added to your faith, virtue and to virtue knowledge. And to knowledge, temperance, temperance, and and to temperance, patience, and to patience, godliness. You know, we're supposed to be patient in this thing, knowing the outcome of the prophecies that must come to pass. You know, and <clears throat> in verse seven, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. For 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 if these things be in you, and abound. They make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. But, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and hath forgotten that he was purged from his sins. Wherefore, rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Mm. If you do these things, you shall never fail. Shall never fail. You got it, bro. No, no, you go into it. Yeah, want you know, I mean, hey, as long as you follow your heart by Shem Yahushai, you're not going to fail. You know what I'm saying? The Lord said, you know, to love that brother, you mm -hmm. know, because at the end of the day, all the balls down to is the work of your heart by Shem mm -hmm. You know, it's not about our own work, um, you know, our own vain opinions. You know, exactly. It's about bringing forth the word and, and the name of Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. Come. You know what I'm saying? Because this is his glory. You know? The word's gonna see the glory or a part of the glory of Yahweh Shah through us and we're gonna see the glory of Yahweh through Yahweh Shah. Come. You know? So, you know, it, you know, it doesn't pay, you know, to have this truth and then to fall out of it because you got a fear of what the enemy could do to you or, Come. You, you know, that's the, spirit. the end of the day. That's the spirit. This is uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Mm. You know? Yes, because we're going, spirit, to, we're going to suffer, man. Uh -huh. It says, behold, meaning look, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried. Ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death. And I will give thee a crown of life. So, hey, the Lord is telling you, he's personally going to give you the crown of life, man. You're going to be crowned. Mm -hmm. Just be faithful unto the death if, if it has to go there. But what? As long as you're putting in the word, whether you have to die or not, man, you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to thank the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yashah, that you was able to put in the work and, and your work, uh, you know, was was tried as uh, as gold in the fire and, and it wasn't, you know, stone or stubble, whatever the case may be. It was it was mm -hmm. precious stone and, and, and gold, man. Meaning that you did a, a good job, man. You know, for the Lord Yahweh Shah to crown you, man. You know, that's big, you know. And that's what and it said, fear none of those things. Because we don't know what, 
he may do to us during these, you know, these uh, torturing weapons and so on and so forth, the guillotines and things of that nature. Hey, man, mm -hmm. he about to show his horns, man. We about to really see who this devil for who he really is, man. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be shown on, on a global scale, man. You know, so I just got this quick precept and you got it. We can close out whatever you got or if you got, got a couple more. This is Second Timothy chapter 1 of verse 7. It says, For the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. You know, so, hey, man, that, hey, that scripture is, is pretty much self-explanatory, man. You know, we ain't supposed to fear, man. That's right. You got it out. Come on. The book of Psalms, chapter 27 and verse 5. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. Mm. In, the, in, in the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. Mm -hmm. He shall set me upon a rock. You know, we have to believe in what we preach. You know, because we're actually approaching a day where you're going to have to actually show and prove. Mm -hmm. You know, we've been out there on the highways and byways for years, teaching, preaching, and, and warning the people and telling them it's all about faith. Well, now we're going to have to prove our faith by our works, even during the time of Jacob's trouble, uh -huh. you know, because we are going to be tempted and we're going to be uh, um, um, uh, Salak, what's the word? Um, um, tempted? Nah, uh, <sighs> Salak. <laughs> no, you good, uh, yeah. But we're gonna be in a position of difficulty. Yeah. Just as well as the other Jakes, but our level of difficulty is gonna be like their level of difficulty. Huh. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we're preparing our minds now. Yeah, because the you look know? is gonna have hope at the end. The Come other Jakes, they're not, you know, mm -hmm. they're either going to get hit with the nukes or they're going to, you know, die of famine or whatever the Lord sees fit for them. Yeah, come. I got another precept, Bubba Gashar. Come. Um, the book of Second Peter chapter 1 and verse, but not, not, I think I read that already. Um, uh, so, uh. Oh, con. The book of Philippians, chapter 2. Now, nah, I read that too. Sh shit. <laughs> yeah, it's a I'm spirit. done, bro, you know. Yeah, you know, so, hey. Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem mm Yahshai. -hmm. You know, through Yahweh Hashem Yahshai for allowing us to get it together and do this lesson. You know, uh, we're going to end off and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh. Hashem Yahweh Shai. Hashem Rakaakwadash. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone.